Hello guys, welcome to our class in pre-calculus. We are now on week 2. But before we start our discussion, let's have first our food for thought. This was taken from 2 Timothy 1.7. It states that, For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. How can we relate this to our studies? When we are with God, automatically the Spirit of God will guide us. And so, the Spirit of God does not make us timid. What does it mean? Timid means lack of courage or confidence. And as a student, sometimes you fear to do something because it might gone wrong. But then... The Spirit of God gives us the power. What kind of power is that? The power to overcome all the challenges that we are facing. Knowing that we are now in the modular mode of learning and you find it hard to learn without the aid of your teacher. We don't have to go to school to have face-to-face -face and discuss lessons with our teacher. And I understand that it's very hard for you to adjust. But... Take note that the Spirit of God will give you power to overcome all the challenges and the problems that you are facing right now. Next is, it will give you love. What kind of love is that? A love for your studies. A love for learning. When you love your studies, you will really work hard for it. You will work hard to achieve something in your studies. And lastly, the self-discipline. As a student, you should follow your weekly home learning plan. And also, you should make studies as your top priority in your daily routine. So with the Spirit of God that guides you, you will have all these properties that a student need during this time. And not even this time, but also for the years to come. So I hope that you have learned and you are motivated to learn more with this food for thought. Let's have our lesson now. We are now on pre-calculus week 2A and we have here the topic about the parabola. Our objective is at the end of this discussion, the students will be able to define a parabola and determine its properties given the equation and the graph. So, we have here the definition of a parabola. It is the locus of all points in the plane whose distances from a fixed point called focus and a fixed line called directrix are the same. Take note of this. This line is, this point is the focus of your parabola. And this line here is the directrix of your parabola. Okay, this blue line here with the arrow from the left to the right is the parabola. And it states that a parabola is a set or the locus of all points wherein the distance from the focus and also from the line called directrix are equal or are the same. Notice that from this point, the distance from the focus to this one and from the directrix to this one is the same. And so, if the next point of our parabola is here, this will be the distance from the focus, focus to this point and also this will be the distance from the directrix to this point. And so, we can say that this line is equal to this line. This distance is equal to this distance. Another example, if we have this point here in our parabola, the distance from the focus to this point and the distance from this point perpendicular to the directrix is equal. Okay, that is what we mean by the parabola. Let's continue. 
the highest point or the lowest point of the parabola is called the vertex. So in this figure, this is the vertex of our parabola. And as you can notice, this is the lowest point of the parabola. So when the parabola is facing upward, it has the lowest point. And the line that passes through the vertex and is perpendicular to the directrix is called the axis of symmetry. So here is our axis of symmetry. It passes through the vertex and is perpendicular to the directrix. Okay, this one is considered our axis of symmetry. And why is it called axis of symmetry? Because it forms a symmetrical figure on the left part of our parabola and also on the right part of our parabola. When we try to draw this parabola on paper and fold from the axis of symmetry, you will notice that this line is overlapping with this line. And also, whatever is the figure here on the left will be reflected or will be mirrored to the figure on the right. So the axis of symmetry will be the basis or the line wherein we can base the reflection from left to right. Okay, so let's continue. The properties of the parabola given the equation. Take note of this equation. We have x squared equals 4cy. 4c here is represented sometimes. Usually, it is represented by a real number. Given this kind of equation, we can say that this equation is a vertical parabola. Take note that we have here x squared. So we have a vertical parabola. The vertex is at the origin and it's in the point 0, 0. It opens upward because your 4C here is positive. So it opens upward. The focus is at 0, C. The focus is C units above the vertex. So notice that the focus is found above the vertex. And so when the parabola is facing upward, the focus can be found above the vertex or the focus can be found to the place where the parabola faces. And also we have the directrix. Directrix is equal to is y equals negative c. So it is found here. Okay. The directrix is horizontal and the axis of symmetry is x equals 0. So it's here. It is your y-axis that is the x equals 0. And the axis of symmetry is a vertical line. Notice that your directrix is horizontal and the axis of symmetry is vertical. And they are perpendicular to each other. Let's continue and observe the second equation. Our second equation is still x squared here, but the real number associated with your y as coefficient of your y is negative 4c. And so this is still a vertical parabola with vertex at 0, 0. But this time, since we have negative coefficient here, it opens downward. And so the focus will also be found below the vertex. So it is from 0, negative C. The focus is C units below the vertex. Since the parabola is facing downward, you can find the focus below. The directrix L is now y equals c. It's found here and it is a horizontal line. The axis of symmetry is same as x equals 0 or that is your y-axis and it is a vertical line. Let's continue with our next equation. Our next equation here is our next equation here is 
y squared equals 4cx. Take note that from x squared, we have now y squared. And so, it is a horizontal parabola. The vertex is still at the origin. And however, since we have positive 4c here, it opens to the right. So if we have the horizontal parabola, the figure or the parabola may open to the right or to the left. Okay, and so the focus will transfer from C0. And C is C units to the right of the vertex. Since the parabola is facing to the right or opens to the right, the focus will also found on the right part of your vertex. And the directrix will be now at x equals negative C. And it is a vertical line. Your axis of symmetry will be y equals 0, and it is a horizontal line. For y equals 0, that is also considered as your x-axis. Let's have this one. The last equation is y squared equals negative 4cy. Take note that it is still y squared, so we have a horizontal parabola. And vertex at that origin however since we have negative 4c y there it means that the parabola is opening to the left and so the focus is found at negative c0 and the focus is c units to the left of the vertex since the parabola is opening to the left therefore the focus is also found on the left of the vertex and the directrix will be at x equals c. The directrix is a vertical line, and the symmetry is still at y equals 0, or that is your x-axis, which is a horizontal line. So let's continue. Example 1. This graph on the left shows a parabola with the equation x squared minus 12y. So what type of parabola is this? Knowing that our given here is x squared, therefore, we can say that this one is a vertical parabola. Let's continue. Find the vertex. So at this point, the vertex of our parabola is found at the origin or at point zero zero next find the opening of the parabola since it is a vertical parabola and there is a positive coefficient for y the opening of a parabola will be upward Next, let's find the focus. The focus of our parabola here will be at F having point zero C. How do we find C? Remember the equation. We have x squared equals 4CY. And so given this one, 4C is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 4 in order to get your C. And so, C is equal to 3. So, we can say that the focus of our parabola is found at point zero three. Let's continue. Now, we are going to find the directrix of the parabola. So, since our focus is found at 0, 3, the directrix L will be found at y equals negative c. And since our c is equal to 3, therefore, the directrix will be the line 
y equals negative 3. And that line is a horizontal line. Okay, let's continue. Found the, find the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry will be x equals 0. And this one is your vertical line. Let's continue with the next example. The graph in the left shows a parabola with an equation x squared equals negative 16y. Now find type of a parabola. So the type of a parabola here, since we have x squared, is also a vertical parabola. And so the vertex of this parabola is found at the origin. And it is at point zero, zero. The opening of the parabola is, since we have negative here and it is a vertical parabola, so we can say that the opening will be downwards. How about the focus? At this point, the focus of our parabola will be 0, negative c because it is facing downward. And so from our equation, which is x squared equals negative 4cy, we will notice that our negative 4c will be negative 16. So let's try to solve 4c. Divide both sides by negative 4. And so RC will be equal to 4. Since RC is equal to 4, our negative C is equal to negative 4. So the focus will be at point 0, negative 4. It's here. This is 0 for X and this is negative 4 for Y. Let's continue. Find the directrix. Since our focus is at zero, since our focus is at zero, negative three, then our directrix will be y equals positive c. It will be positive c because the parabola opens downward. And so the directrix will be, directrix L will be Y equals positive 3. And it is a horizontal line. And the axis of symmetry will be, the axis of symmetry will be, x equals 0, which is a vertical line. Let's continue with the next example. The graph in the left shows a parabola with an equation y squared equals 10x. So find the parabola. Take note that the given here is y squared. And so this kind of parabola is horizontal. The vertex is still found at 0, 0, or the origin. The opening of the parabola, since we have positive 10 here, that will be to the right.
the focus will be now at C0. So, we have here y squared equals 4cx. And so, our 4c is equal to 10. Dividing both sides with 4, our c will equal to 2.5. Or as a fraction, we can say that it is 5 over 2. So it's still the same here. The focus will be at 2.5. That's between 0 and 5. And it will never move upward or downward because your y is equal to 0. So the focus will be 2.5, 0. Let's continue. The directrix L... The directrix L will now be x equals negative c. And since our c is equal to 2.5, so our x is equal to negative 2.5. This time, it is a vertical line. And the axis of symmetry will be found at y equals 0. And this one will be the horizontal line. So it's also referred as to your x-axis. Example 4. The graph in the left shows a parabola with an equation y squared equals negative 22x. This type of parabola is still a horizontal parabola. And the vertex will be found at the vertex will be found at the origin. Okay, so that's at the origin and that's V with point zero zero the opening of the parabola since we got here negative 22 okay so since this one is negative the opening of the parabola will be to the left let us now find the focus the focus of our parabola will be at F, negative C, 0. So let's find the value of our C. Negative 4C equals negative 22. And so divide both sides by 4, by negative 4. And so C is equal to positive 5.5. Since the focus is represented by negative C0, our focus will now be at point negative 5.50. Take note of this one. This is point 5.50. And so the directrix will be at the directrix will be at x equals positive C. And so, x is equal to 5.5. The line x equals 5.5 will be the directrix of the parabola. And so, the axis of symmetry will be y equals 0. And that line is horizontal. So let's try to have a practice. A parabola with an equation y squared equals negative 28x. So find the type of parabola. Take note that we have y squared here. So this kind of parabola is horizontal. 
the vertex of this kind of parabola, given that equation, will be at the origin or at 0, 0. The opening of parabola, since we have negative 28 here, will be to the left. And so, the focus will be at negative C0. So, how can we solve for that? Negative 4C equals negative 20. Divide both sides by negative 4. And so, RC is equal to 7. So, the focus will be at negative c that is negative seven zero that will be the focus of our parabola and so the directrix will be at x equals c since our c is seven the directrix will be the line that is described as x equals 7. And the axis of symmetry will be the y axis. i sorry, sorry. The axis of symmetry will be the x axis. Or that is your y equals 0. And that one is a horizontal line. The directrix is a vertical line. I hope you get that one. Let's continue with the second example. The parabola with an equation x squared equals 12y. So since we have x squared here, this kind of parabola is a vertical parabola. The vertex is found at the origin, and that has the point 0, 0. The opening of the parabola, since this is a vertical parabola and we have positive 12 here, so it opens upward, and the focus will be found at 0, C. Let's solve for C. 4C is equal to this one, that is 12. Divide both sides by 4, so our C is equal to 3. Then, we can say that our focus is at the point 0, 3. Then, the directrix is a line L with having Y equals negative C. Since our C is 3, that line will be y equals negative 3. This will be the directrix, and this directrix is a horizontal line. Since our directrix is a horizontal line, obviously our axis of symmetry is vertical line. And that is for x equals 0. Let's continue. A parabola with an equation y squared. y squared equals 44x. Take note that this given is y squared. And so, the type of parabola is a horizontal parabola. The vertex is found at the origin with point zero, 0, The opening of the parabola, since it is positive, it is found to the right. And so, the focus will be at positive C, 0. 
Now, let's find the value of our C. 4C equals 44. And so C is equal, divide both sides by 4. And so C is equal to 11. So the focus will be at 11, 0. And so the directrix will be at x equals negative c. Since our c is 11, so the directrix is the line having x equals negative 11. And this line is a vertical line. And so our axis of symmetry is a horizontal line. And that is found at y equals 0. Lastly, we have x squared equals 8y. Since we have x squared here, we can say that this one is a vertical parabola. The vertex is still at the origin. with point zero zero since we have negative eight y here the opening of our parabola will be downward and the focus will be found at zero negative c now let us solve for our c negative eight equals negative four c divide both sides by negative four and so our C is equal to 2. So since we have negative C here, the focus of our parabola is 0, negative 2. And so the directrix will be at the point R will be the line Y equals positive C. And therefore, we can say that that line is y equals 2. And so our this one is a horizontal line. And so our axis of symmetry will be x equals 0. Or that is our vertical line. Okay, we are done with quarter one, week 2A. We are now on pre-calculus week 2B. It's it is also about the parabola, and the objective of our lesson is, at the end of this discussion, the students will be able to define a parabola and determine its properties given the equation and the graph. And so, let's review what we learned in our previous lesson is to determine the type of parabola, the vertex, opening, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry if the vertex is at the origin. And this time, let's have this equation. So we have x minus h squared and 4c times y minus k. Given this kind of equation, this is a vertical parabola. Take note that we have x here, but we don't have the point on origin. We don't have the vertex on origin. The vertex will be now at hk. Since we have positive 4c here, the parabola opens upward. And so the focus will now be not at 0c, but at hk plus c. The focus is C units above the vertex. And so our directrix will be Y equals K minus C. And it is a horizontal line. The axis of symmetry will be found at X equals H. And that is a vertical line. Given this equation with negative 4C multiplied by one quantity y minus k, this is still a vertical parabola. The vertex at hk 
However, we have four, negative 4C here, so it opens downward. The focus will now be found at H, K minus C. The focus is C units below the vertex. The directrix will be found at Y equals K plus C. And the directrix is a horizontal line. The axis of symmetry will be X equals H. And the axis of symmetry is a vertical line. The next equation is given like this one. We have y minus k quantity squared minus 4c times x minus h. Given this one, we'll have a horizontal parabola with vertex at hk. Since we have positive 4c here, it opens to the right. And so our focus will be at h plus c k. The focus is c units to the right of the vertex. Now, the directrix will be x equals h minus c, and it is a vertical line. The axis of symmetry will be y equals k, and it is a horizontal line. For number four equation, we have y minus k quantity squared equals negative 4c times quantity x minus h. This kind of parabola is horizontal. The vertex is at hk. However, since we have negative 4c here, the parabola opens to the left. The focus will be found at h minus c, k, and the focus is c units to the left of the vertex. The directrix is x equals h plus c to the opposite side of the focus. The directrix is vertical. Axis of symmetry is y equals k, and the axis of symmetry is horizontal. So let's have here our example. We have x plus 5 quantity squared equals 12 times y plus 6. So given this kind of equation, since we have x here, this type of parabola is a vertical parabola. The vertex of our parabola will be found at HK. Given this, our H will be equal to negative 5 and our K will be equal to negative 6. Why is that so? We have this given equation of the parabola which is X minus H quantity squared equals 4c times y minus k. And so since we have minus h here and this one is plus 5, therefore we can say that our h is equal to negative 5. And so for y minus k, we are given y plus 6. And so our k is equal to negative 6. Therefore, our vertex is at negative 5, negative 6. Let's continue. Where is the opening of the parabola? Since we have positive 12 here, obviously the parabola opens upward. Find the focus of the parabola. The focus of our parabola will be found at h, k, plus c. So let's find our c here. 4c equals 12. Divide both sides by 4. And so our c is equal to 3. So let's substitute. Focus is equal to h. What is our h? That's negative 5. And our k plus c is equal to, our k is negative 6 plus 3, that is negative 3. So our k plus c here will be negative 3. This will be the focus of our 
parabola. Now, let's find the directrix. The directrix will be found at y equals k minus c. Our c was 3. And so, we have our k as negative 6 minus 3. So, the directrix will be the line which is y equals negative, sorry, y equals negative 9. And this line is horizontal. Since we have the directrix as horizontal line, the line of symmetry will be vertical. And so that line is x equals h. And so our x is equal to negative 5. This will be the axis of symmetry. Let's have our example too. We have here the equation x plus 3 quantity squared equals negative 16 times quantity y minus 2. Since we have x plus 3 here, this type of parabola is a vertical parabola. And so our vertex will be at x minus h quantity squared equals negative 16 times y minus k. So our h is equal to negative 3 and our k is equal to 2. The vertex will be at negative 3, 2. This one. Let's continue. Where is the opening of the parabola? Since we have negative 16 here, the opening will obviously be downward. And how are we going to find the focus? Since it is opening downward, the focus will be at h, k, minus c. So our h here is negative 3. Let us now find k minus c. Our c is negative 4c equals negative 16. Divide both sides by negative 4. And so our c is equal to 4. So our k is positive 2 minus our c, which is 4. k minus c is equal to negative so the focus will be at negative 3, negative 2. This one, negative 3, negative 2. This will be the focus. And so the directrix will be a line y equals k plus c. And since our k is 2 and our c was given at 4. So the directrix will be the line y equals, sorry, sorry, y equals 6. This one, we have 2, 4, 6. Okay, this line, y equals 6. And this line is horizontal. And to find the axis of symmetry, since we have the horizontal directrix, we can say that we have here the axis of symmetry as vertical line. And it is found at x equals negative 3. This is your x equals h. Let's continue with the next example. We have here the given y minus 8 quantity squared equals 4 times quantity x plus 2. So since we have y here, this type of parabola is a horizontal parabola.
then the vertex will be found at our h is equal to negative 2 and our k is equal to 8. So the vertex is at negative 2, 8. So it's here. We have negative 1, negative 2. Negative 2. Our y is negative 2. Uh, our x is negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. And our y is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the vertex. This is your origin. So that will be our reference. And so the opening of the parabola, since we have positive 4 here, it is to the right. The focus of our parabola will be found also on the right of the vertex. And so we can say that the focus is H plus C K. What is our H plus C? Since our H is negative 2, let's find our C. 4C equals 4. Divide both sides by 4. And so C is equal to 1. So H plus C is equal to negative 2 plus 1. And therefore, our H is plus C is equal to negative 1. So the focus will be at negative 1 and our k is 8. Okay, our focus is here, negative 1, 8. And so the directrix will be at x equals h minus c. Since our h is negative 2 minus our c, which is 1, the directrix will be the line x equals negative 3. So it's here. And it is a vertical line. And so the axis of symmetry will be horizontal. And that is equivalent to y equals k. So our y equals 8. This one. This is y equals 8. Let's continue with our last example. y equals negative 8. Uh, y squared equals negative 8 times quantity x plus 5. This type of parabola, since we have y squared here, meaning it is a horizontal parabola. Next is the vertex. So our h is equal to negative 5 and our k is equal to 0. So this will be the vertex of our parabola. That is the point negative 5, 0. Letter C, find the opening of the parabola. Since we have negative 8 here, we can say that the opening of the parabola is to the left. Then, let's find the focus of our parabola. The focus of our parabola will be at point H minus C, K. And so, we have here negative 4c is equal to negative 8. Divide both sides by negative 4. And so rc is equal to positive 2. Since our h is equal to negative 5, it's here. So our h minus c is equal to negative 5 minus 2. So our h minus c is equal to negative 7. Our focus will be at negative 7, 0. Our k is 0. So we have here negative 7, 0. And let's continue. Our directrix will be 
at the line x equals h plus c. Our h is equal to negative 5, and so our c is equal to 2. The directrix will be the line x equals negative 3. So it's here. It's negative 2 here, negative 3. This will be our directrix, and it is a vertical line. Since our directrix is vertical line, we can assume that the axis of symmetry is horizontal. And this horizontal line is y equals 0. That is the value of our k. Let's try this. A parabola with an equation y minus 3 quantity squared equals 4 times quantity x plus 2. This type of parabola, since we are given y minus 3 quantity squared here, is a horizontal parabola. And the vertex of this will be at h, k, which is negative 2 for the value of x and positive 3. So the vertex is at negative 2, 3. To determine the opening of the parabola, since it is horizontal and this one is positive, we can say that the opening is to the right. And the focus will be at H plus C, K. Okay, because it is to the right. Now let's find our C. Given 4 here, so we have 4C equals 4. Divide both sides by 4, and so our C is equal to 1. So our H is negative 2, so that is negative 2 plus 1. We have negative 1. This will be the focus of our parabola. How about the directrix? The directrix will be at y, sorry, y equals, oh, sorry, sorry, that's x equals h minus c. And that is x equals negative 2 minus 1. So negative 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 3. The directrix will be the line x equals negative 3. And it is a vertical line. The axis of symmetry obviously will be horizontal. And it is the line y equals rk, which is 3. That will be the axis of symmetry. Now let's continue with the next. A parabola with an equation x plus 6 quantity squared equals negative 6 times quantity y plus 8. So given this one, this type of parabola is a vertical parabola. Next, the vertex will be at hk. So our vertex will be at negative 6, negative 8. Now let's find the opening of the parabola. Since it is a vertical parabola and we have here a coefficient of negative 6, therefore it is opening downwards. Now let's find the focus of the parabola. So for the focus of our parabola, let's have h and since it is opening downward, that is k minus c. And so in order to find our C, we have negative 6 equals 4C, negative 4C. Divide both sides by negative 4. Therefore, our C is equal to 
0.5. Since RC is equal to 1.5, therefore, our focus is at H. Oh, sorry. Our H is negative 6. Then our K minus C is negative 8 minus 1.5. That is negative 5.5. Let's see, negative 8 minus 1.5, sorry, that's not, that's negative 9.5, negative 8 minus 1.5. And the directrix will be at y equals k plus c. So our k is negative 8 plus RC, that it's 1.5. The directrix is the line, which is Y equals negative 5.5. That's it. So our directrix is this one, and it is a horizontal line. And our axis of symmetry is a vertical line which is found at x equals h. Our h is negative 6, so that's x equals negative 6. Let's continue. A parabola with equation y equals negative 5 quantity squared, uh, y minus 5 quantity squared minus, uh, equals negative 12 times quantity x minus 3. This type of parabola is a horizontal parabola. Then our vertex will be at hk, which is our h is equal to 3 and our k is equal to 5. Let's find the opening of the parabola. Since we have there negative 12, the opening of the parabola will be to the left. And our focus will be h minus c, k. So let's find the value of our c. Our negative 4c is equal to negative 12. Divide both sides by negative 4. And so, our c is equal to 3. Since our c is equal to 3, our h minus c is equal to 3 minus 3. That is 0. Then copy our k, which is 5. This will be the focus. And our directrix will be x equals h plus c. So that is x equals 3 plus 3 or x equals 6. This one is a vertical line. And so our axis of symmetry is a horizontal line. which is y equals k. So that is y equals 5. This will be the properties of our given parabola. And let's continue with parabola number 4. So we have here x minus 2 quantity squared equals negative 24 times quantity y plus 1. So this type of parabola, given this one, is a vertical parabola then our vertex will be at hk and that is two and since we have plus one here we have negative one then the opening of a parabola since it is vertical and we have negative 24 here will be downwards now let's find the focus. The focus of our parabola will be found at h k minus c. k minus c because it faces downward. And so our h is 2. And now let's find our c. Negative 4c equals negative 24. Divide both sides with negative 4. And so... Rc is equal to 
6. Since our C is equal to 6, so that's negative 1, that is the value of our K, minus 6, we get negative 7. This will be the focus of our parabola. And for the directrix, we have Y equals K plus C. So our Y is equal to, our K is negative 1 plus our C, which is 6. So that is y equals 5. And this one is a horizontal line. And let's proceed to the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry will be a vertical line, which is at x equals h. And that is x equals this will be the axis of symmetry. So that's all with quarter one, week two, B. We are now ready to have our quarter one, week two, C. So now let us continue with our pre-calculus week two, C. It is about the standard form of the equation of the parabola. And the objective of this is, at the end of the discussion, the students will be able to determine the standard form of the equation of the parabola. So what we learned in our previous lesson is the type of parabola, the vertex, the opening of parabola, the focus, the directrix, and axis of symmetry given the vertex at h, k. At this time, let's recall the equations of our parabola. So we have here the equation x minus h quantity squared equals 4c times quantity y minus k. Next is x minus h quantity squared equals negative 4c times quantity y minus k. Next we have y minus k quantity squared equals 4c times quantity x minus h. And lastly, we have y minus k quantity squared equals negative 4c times quantity x minus h. Notice that this one is a vertical parabola. And these two are the horizontal parabola. Regarding the opening, this one opens upward and this one opens downward. This one, since it's positive, it faces or opens to the right. And the last one opens to the left. So those are the things that we have to think about when we talk about the equations of parabola. So here is now the standard form of the equation. We have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c if the equation of a parabola is on the vertical axis of symmetry. And if the parabola is with the horizontal axis of symmetry, we have this one. X equals AY squared plus BY plus C. So let's have our example one. Write the following equations of parabola in standard form. So this one, all, all you have to do is just to manipulate this and solve this one. So we have 3 times the square of this is actually x squared plus 10x plus 25. So that's it. So we have x squared plus 10x plus 25. Then copy your plus 2. Then multiply 3 to each of the terms here. 
So we have 3x squared plus 30x plus 75 plus 2. So we have the standard form of y equals 3x squared plus 30x plus 77. Okay? Let's continue. For example 2, we have, uh, for example 1, letter B, we have 6y squared equals 3x plus 12y equals 18. Notice that we have here negative 3x and your y squared will, will be transferred to the right side and your 12y will be transferred also to the right side. What is left here on the left of your equal sign is negative 3x. So let's copy negative 3x equals negative 6y squared. So 6y will transfer here minus 12y because 12y will also transfer on the right side of your equation. And your 18 since it's already on the right side. So just copy positive 18. Then... We have to divide both sides by negative 3 to eliminate the coefficient of x here. So the standard form will be x equals negative 6 divided by negative 3. That's positive 2 y squared. Negative 12 divided by negative 3. That is positive 4 y. Then 18 divided by negative 3. That is negative 6. So, so this will be the standard form of the equation let's have our example c on this case you will notice that we have here y and your 3x squared will be transferred to the right side of the equal sign what is left is 3y equals your negative 3x squared once transferred it becomes positive 3x squared then this will remain with the same sign. So that's negative 4x plus 5. Then divide both sides by 3 to eliminate the coefficient of your y. So your y is equal to 3 divided by 3. That's 1. So we have x squared. Then negative 4x divided by 3. That's negative 4x over 3. And 5 divided by 3. That is 5 thirds. This will now be the standard form of the equation. Let's have our example two. Transform, transform the following to the vertex form of the equation of the parabola. Take note that when we are having a vertex form, the one with the squared is found on the left side of your equal sign. And take note that we are going to use completing the squares. So, what is left here is your y squared on the left side, then your 10y. Then we have to put blank here in order to complete the squares. On the right side of your equation, we'll transfer your negative 5x that becomes positive 5x. Then copy plus 10. What will we do with this? We have to find the number that we are going to add here in order to complete this square. We have to make this one a perfect square. So, in order to find that, we have to divide 10 by 2. So, 10, this is your second coefficient. And square it. So, that is 5 squared or that's equal to 25. So we have to add 25 here and also add 25 on the right side. So when you add something on the left side, you really have to add something on the right side to make the equation balance or equal. So if you are going to factor this out, we'll have y plus 5 quantity squared equals 5x plus 35. Now, we should try to figure this out and factor this out. So just copy your y plus 5 quantity squared 
equals 5 times x plus 7. This will be now the vertex form of the equation of your parabola. Let's have another example. This one. Take note that we have to find the vertex form. So your x squared will be left on the left side of your equation. And your 4x will transfer on the left side of your equation. So we have negative 4x. Then put a blank here so that we are going to find the number to be put here later on. Equals your y will transfer to the right side. So we have negative y. And your negative 5 will transfer to the right side. We have plus 5. And so let's complete the square here. So we have negative 4 divided by 2 quantity squared. That is negative 2 squared or negative 2 times negative 2 that becomes positive 4. So we have to add 4 here and also add 4 on the right side. And so, this one is a square of x minus 2 equals negative y plus 9. So, if we are going to change this one or factor this out to make it good or to make it look good, we'll have negative 1 times y minus 9. So, negative 1 times y, that becomes negative y. And negative 1 times negative 9, that becomes positive 9. That, that is where it came from. And copy your x minus 2 quantity squared. This will be now the vertex form of your parabola. Okay, so let's have our example 3. Find the standard equation of the parabola with the indicated properties. Take note that the given is vertex at 4, 3, and the focus is at 4, 8. So, as you can see, we can have our x minus 4, and also we have this y minus 3. But then let's find out which one will be squared or not. So, the focus is at 4, 8. Notice that this one had been constant and your 3 had been added 5 units upward. So since we have 5 units upward, it means that the parabola is opening upward. And since it opens upward, what do you think will be the one who has the squared? It must be x minus 4. So we have x minus 4 quantity squared equals blank times y minus 3. Now, let us find our 4c. So, diba, if we can see, this one is your h, k, plus c. So, if our k is equal to 3, so we have 3 plus c, c equals 8. So our c is equal to 8 minus 3. And so our c is equal to 5. And our 4c is equal to 4 times 5. That is 20. So what we have, what we need to put here is 20. Finally, the vertex form of our parabola is x minus 4 quantity squared equals 20 times y minus 3. Okay, let's continue. The vertex at negative 1, 5 and the directrix at y equals 7. So we have to consider this. We have x plus 1 and the other one is y minus 5. Since the directrix is found to be above the vertex, notice that the vertex is negative 1, 5. And the directrix is at y equals 7. That is above your y equals 5. 
And so, the parabola faces downward because the vertex is facing downward opposite the directrix. So, we have x plus 1 quantity squared equals y minus 5. So, since it is facing downward, we have negative 4c here. And our negative 4c is found here. So, let's find our c. So, y, if our parabola is facing downward, we have y equals 5 plus c. That will be the position of our directrix. And so, y is equal to 5 plus 2, 2. There we get our 7, which is our directrix. So, it means that our c is equal to 2. And so, we have our negative 4 times c. Okay, so lastly, we have x plus 1 quantity squared equals negative 8 times y minus 5. Okay, sorry, we are going to find the standard equation of the parabola. So to find the standard equation of it, we'll have to solve this one. Let's erase this first. Okay, this one. Okay, so let's solve this. We have x squared plus 2x, sorry, plus 2x plus 1. That is the answer for this equals negative 8y plus and so, let's transpose every one of this and change 8 to the left side. So, it will become 8y equals negative x squared minus 2x minus 1 plus 40. Then, divide both sides by 8. And so... Our y is equal to negative x squared over 8 minus 2 divided by 8 is, i sorry, um, 2 eighths can be written as 1 fourth. So that is x over 4. Then negative 1 plus 40 is 39. So that is positive 39 over this will be the standard equation of our parabola. Now, let's go back to our previous example. We didn't have it as our standard form. So, let's make this standard form. So, we have x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 20y minus 60. Now, we have to transfer our 20 on the left side of equation and transfer this all on the right side of our equation. And so, we have negative 20y equals negative x squared minus 8x, I plus 8x minus 16 minus 60. And so, divide both sides by negative 20. Let's erase this first. Okay, so that is y equals negative divided by negative, that's positive, x squared over 20 minus Divide both sides by 4 
8 divided 4 is 2 and 20 divided 4 is 5. So 2x over 5 and 16 plus 60 is negative 76. And negative 76 divided by 4 is so negative divided by negative is positive. That becomes positive 19 over 5. Okay. This will be now the standard form of your equation. That is for example 3. Okay. And also for letter B. Let's have our example 4. Using the equations in example 3, illustrate the graph of the parabola and use the given properties so let's graph this one suppose we have a vertex at 4 3 okay this is your 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 okay so our vertex is at 4 3 this is your x-axis and this one is your y-axis This one is the vertex of your parabola. And since it is opening upward, as what we have said, therefore, the focus will be at 4, 8. So we have here the 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will be here. Okay, sorry, you imagine. Okay, so the focus is there. And so let us find also your y-intercept. So our equation on letter A is, on our example, um, 4, 8, that is y equals x squared over 20 minus 2x over 5 plus 19 over 5. And so if our x is equal to 0, this one becomes 0 and our y will equal to 19 over 5. And that is 3 and 4 fifths. So therefore, if our x is 0, we have three, 1, 2, 3 and 4 fifths. This one. So our parabola will look like this. Facing upward, going up, and going up okay this will be the axis of symmetry okay let's continue with letter b the vertex at negative one five and directrix is at y seven so let's have this this is our negative one suppose this is your y axis And this is your x-axis. This is your negative 1. And we have your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will be your vertex. And so the directrix is at y equals 7. So we have 5 here, 6, 7. This will be the directrix. Notice that the distance from the directrix to the focus are equal. And so, if from the directrix we have two units until here, our focus will also have two units until here. So, one, two. This will be our focus. And so, the parabola is facing downward. So, let's try to identify another point here your y intercept. So, our second equation is y equals negative x squared over 8 minus x over 4 plus 39 over 8. And so if you make this 0, your y-intercept will be 39 over 8. Or that is 4 and 7 over 8. So that is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7 over 8. This will be the picture of your parabola facing downward and it must be symmetrical with this line 
So this is the directrix, your y equals 7. And this will be your focus. So it's easy to graph given the properties of your parabola. Okay, so we are done with quarter one, week two C. Congratulations, guys. And I hope you will be with me again next week to discuss our week three. God bless and stay safe, everyone. Thank you for watching. And also to be updated with our discussions, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mamshe. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.